The Zeebo likes to talk about life while he's shooting people in the face. The Zeebo. What is going on, everybody? It's Lazivo here again, and uh, I thought this would be a pretty special, special video to uh, bring to you guys. I got a, probably the most special guest I'll ever have. Go ahead and introduce yourself. I am Dawn, Jason's mother. <laughs> nice to have you on the show. I thought this would be a, a good little, uh, little video to make, seeing that Mother's Day is coming up this weekend. This is my, my dual mom and Terry. <laughs> as I like to call it, instead of commentary. But, um, so yeah, I thought uh, I'd just get my mom in here and ask her some questions, and um, I guess we'll just get right to it. I got, um, I guess first things first, this is a gaming uh, channel, so most of my stuff is related to video games, so I thought I'd, I'd ask you, do you ever play any type of video games right now, Mom? Uh, no. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like not even... I'm gonna include like Facebook games. Like, do you have a farm in Farmville or anything like that? No. Solitaire? No, no. solitaire. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So you have zero gaming experience. Okay. Good. Zero. Um. How All about? Always from what I've watched, you do. <laughs> <laughs> which, which over the years is probably a lot. Yeah. <laughs> um. Have you ever played any kind of video games before? Like, did you go to like arcades or anything? Like when you were younger? Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. Anything yep. you remember, like favorite games, anything like that? Uh, no. <laughs> Not right off. Nothing's ringing a bell? No. We so, did, um, the ahead. first game we ever had was the Pong. Oh, nice. Yeah. Back when, you know, that was the first thing that ever came out. That right. you bought and <laughs> we played that together. Yep. Um, but you had to play together, right? There was no, like, computer. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody else to play with. You had to hit somebody. Yep. Yeah, first uh, first multiplayer. Yeah. Nice. So, uh, how about uh, the fact that I'm 30 and I still play video games and I'm posting videos on the internet? Do you, does any of this make you regret buying me that first uh, Nintendo? Uh, <laughs> no. You, it seemed to, you seemed to... <laughs> Enjoy it. Gotten into it. <laughs> uh, all right. I just uh, I'm wondering what moms think when they when they, when they get their kids into this stuff. Oh, uh, and then uh, last last gaming question. Just I, I want to hear what your best guess on what you think a 360 no scope is. Oh my goodness, I have no idea. 360 <laughs> is a circle. <laughs> yeah. Yep. It's, so, uh, so some sort of a circular. <laughs> Something. No scope. Yep. <laughs> That's close enough. <laughs> I, won't, I won't punish you anymore. I won't punish you anymore with that question. Um, well, I'll, I'll explain it to you later. I don't want to eat up too much of the time on the video. Okay. So. Okay. okay, so now I thought we'd probably get into some more serious, like, sentimental type questions. So, um, okay. my first one I had was, did you always know you wanted to be a mom? Always. Oh, since I okay. was a little girl, I knew I always wanted to be a mom. Okay. Did you have any? Uh, did you have any fears about becoming a mom? Like when it got closer? None. None. Huh? You were pretty confident. Yes, I was very confident. Until you saw me, and then you weren't so confident. Well, you were very large. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Everyone will love to hear that. Thank you. <laughs> You were born 10 pounds, so I was like, oh my goodness. <laughs> 10 pounds, right? Yeah. It was a big baby. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. That, that's going to go over real good. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. How about... Um, so what did you think when you found out you were pregnant with me? I was so excited. Um, the whole reason was that your grandmother, we were only married a few months, and your grandmother found out that she had liver cancer and probably would not live a year or two. And right. so your dad said, I really would like to have a child. 
my mom to see my first child. So could we have one soon? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so we tried and it didn't take that long and we got pregnant. So we were ecstatic because we were really hoping that she would be able to make it to see our first child together. So, and she was there and she ended up, she didn't pass away until you were four. Yeah. So yeah, she, four or five, right? Yep. Yeah. So yeah, her cancer ended up going in remission and she ended up, you know, being able to be a part of your life for like four years. So yeah, that was good. Yep. Um, so uh, I don't know if people know, but I only have one sister, and uh, I thought it'd be funny to find out which one of us you like best. <laughs> and you got to get this one right, or else this doesn't go on the internet. I like very many qualities in both of you. Both very different. <laughs> I figured you would say that. Um, uh, do you have any regrets about how you raised me? I don't. I really don't. Nothing you would do differently? No. I wouldn't. Oh, yeah, I think it turned out all right. Yeah. You turned out <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you think it's easier or harder to be a mom now or than when you were raising kids? Like when we were younger. Moms now compared to moms. Yeah, you personally. Do you think it was easier? Like, do you think it's easier or harder now as a mom or as a mother than it than it was when you were raising a family? It might be harder. I think with each generation, there's just more and more different things. Things get. You know, there wasn't, there were drugs, but there wasn't as many or as, um. Yeah, like it was simpler back then. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how about this one? What was your, what was your proudest day as a mom so far? It was probably your graduation from college. Hmm, that's a good one. Really, really wanted that for you and. And I was so, so proud. That's good. I was glad to be done, too. Yeah, I'm I'm sure you were. (laughs) (laughs) Um, What do you think is the most important thing a mother can do for her kid? I think just to be open-minded, you know, to to just love them, Mm -hmm. always be there. Okay. Um, how about this? How about uh, I know a lot of people. That, like I said, are, they're, they're going to be listening to this Mother's Day. It's probably going to be, you know, the following day or something. What's a good gift that uh, you know? Like I said, probably most people listen to this are for you know, say fourteen to twenty-five or something. So what? What do you think is the good gift for someone around that age to get their mom? Whether that be an item or like, you know, help or something. You know, whatever. Yeah. I think some of my, probably one of my, some of my favorite gifts were pictures, mm-hmm. um, pictures that you guys have given me of like the two of you together. Those are my most cherished things. Um, I know a few times you guys went and had your picture taken and I didn't know it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm and, that. and I, I look at those and I remember those weren't pictures that I took of you. Those were pictures that you went and had done for me. Yeah. So those are nice. Yeah, I was pretty thoughtful, wasn't I? Yeah, yeah you were. You are a great <laughs> gift giver. You are a great gift giver. <laughs> yeah. I, I am, you know, I, like I don't like having to give gifts, but I like the idea of like uh, when I see something that reminds me of, you know, you or whoever that, you know, getting, I'm really good at identifying what people will like. You, know, that, but, you are very good at that. But the forced gifts I struggle with, you know, like you have to get a gift on Christmas. That makes it harder. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I thought it might be good real quick to talk about, um, you are a lupus survivor, you're, it's in remission, you, you are living with, you know, with that right now. Um, and I know you were sick as a while for a mom, so even though it may not be to that extreme, what's something a kid can do to help their mother out when they're, when they're sick? 
um, just taking care of their their own selves, you know, it helps when a mother doesn't have to, um, you know, when she's sick or she's tired, she doesn't have to get up and make a meal or she doesn't have to get up and start cleaning or um, just picking up after themselves and taking care of their own selves help. Yeah, I probably didn't do any of that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you were thoughtful, but maybe in other ways. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Okay, um, last last question. Is there anything you've always wanted to tell me but never have? I, I don't think so. Think you're I, pretty honest? Yes. I know I kind of put you on the spot with that one, but... Yeah, I'm just kind of an open person. I'm. I don't keep secrets. I'm. There's <laughs> nothing I've ever kind of not said to you that. <laughs> would that be a surprise if I came out? With something? Yeah, I know. I was waiting for a big bombshell. You know, like I'm really your mother, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> something like that. But yeah. Anyway, this video is uh, wrapping up here, but uh, I thought it went pretty good. Thanks for coming on, mom. Thank you for having me. <laughs> and uh, happy Mother's Day. Thank you very much. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I love you, Mom. I'll talk to you later. Love you too. All right. Bye. Bye.